You know what this is? This is a Chinese fu chen. It was used for cleaning. It's used as a tool for kung fu movements. Now I'm in Wudang Mountain. This is a very beautiful and well-known place, both in China and abroad. Today, many masters come here to train in these martial arts, and we're going to learn from them. Let's go. You say so casually, yeah, but that is just such an amazing, cool thank thing. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me more about yourself as well? Uh, I'm Jake, so I'm a disciple of the Samphong Pai, and this is my master, Master Yuan. Master Yuan is a uh, 15th generation holder of Samphong Pai, and I've went through the disciple seminary, so I'm technically a 16th generation. This will be 17th. And this is 17th generation. <laughs> this is my Hi. What's your name? Hi, Selena. This, this is, is the, your daughter. This is my daughter. This is the potential 17th generation. <laughs> it's so cool because I'm an American myself, but I don't really know anything about Kung Fu, so I'm really excited to learn more. Hello, teacher. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> so the first one. Oh my gosh. First one is that. We're going to start with this. And we're gonna have a lot of like basic drills. So you make it look so easy. I can got, like, like feel the wind whooshing by my face. And see how it fits right underneath these shoulders? Uh huh. That's gonna spin you around. Circle. Yeah, yeah, swing. Swing your hand over here. <laughs> then you come up and drop. Whoa! Yeah, it's pretty good actually. I really feel like I'm just like learning Kung Fu now. So now I'm climbing these steps up to the Prince Slope. It's a really beautiful path here in the mountains. You can feel the fresh air. So now I'm at the Prince Slope, one of the four famous scenic areas here in Wudang Mountain. It's famous because of its red walls, green roofs, and amazing zigzagging architecture inside. Follow me.你们看你的肩 
that's amazing to see the wudang wushu up close. Mm -hmm. It's all about the balance between your body and also your mind. So it's the hard and the soft, it's the power and also the stillness and the silence that comes together to create this perfect balance. And it's also really cool to see the swords and the tools they use with fighting. Like, mm -hmm. this is so cool. <laughs> I see a master over here. I wonder what he's doing. Let's go. Hi, Nihao Shifu. Hi, Nihao. So what kind of Kung Fu movements are you doing right now? What makes this kind of Tai Chi so special? So Tai Chi really is a way to cultivate a healthy mindset. And what else do you do when you're doing these slow movements? What is the meaning and why is it so slow? Can you teach me how to do some movements? Oh, it takes so much balance. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is like doing like leg squats. It's so much strength. You look so comfortable. <laughs> you have to be so strong. My legs hurt. I feel it feels like moving water. Oh my god. Oh, I like this one. Push and uh, I push. Go around. Ah. Here, around. <laughs> it's amazing to actually see it. I've always seen people doing Tai Chi and wondering why they use their arms with the energy. So seeing it with a person kind of makes you feel that energy up close and why you need to move your hands in this way. Wow. She's <laughs> your There are so many herbs and natural ingredients here. Now, I'm at a traditional Taoism medicine clinic and I'm going to be learning more about what they do here. Hi, Dr. Hu. <laughs> uh -huh. Looking at my pulse points. I wonder if that's a bad thing if I eat cold food. Oh, she's going to be checking my neck pulse. And it's similar to with my hand, she wants to check my blood flow. Okay. <laughs> it's my first time. I'm a little nervous. So actually, that didn't hurt. I'm kind of surprised because I just expected with a needle that it would feel a little painful. Mm. It's really interesting to try this for the first time. It's been different than I imagined and it, it didn't hurt at all, which I was very surprised about as well. But I've actually really enjoyed learning more about acupuncture and about Taoism traditional medicine today. Shishi Dr. Hu. So this path going up is going to lead to the top, but we're not actually at the top of the mountain yet. We still have a while away to go to get to the Golden Summit. It's cool, the walls are kind of like bending in almost like a zigzag shape. But we're going up this whole time to get to the top of the Prince Slope. But we're not actually at the top of the mountain yet. We're only halfway to the Golden Summit. I already feel like I'm getting tired though. <laughs> it's all uphill the whole time, but it will be worth it for the view. And it is so cold today. So I've got a big coat on. I can't feel my toes actually, <laughs> so I'm hoping I can make it to the top before I freeze. <laughs> wow, 
We're so high up now. It's a little difficult to breathe because of the altitude, but we're almost at the top. Whoa. So steep now. Wow. <laughs> almost there. Dio. <laughs> so I've stopped for a rest to touch my breath um, and enjoy the view part way up the top. The mountains here are just so beautiful. You can see the clouds rising over them and it almost looks like a Chinese watercolor painting. to the summit of Wudang Mountain and we are at the Golden Palace now. It's a very beautiful palace with a history of more than 600 years. It's also very high up right now. We are more than 1,600 meters high in the air. You can see many, many people have gathered here and they come to pay their respects and homage to this mountain right here. Here at Wudang Mountain, Mount Wudang is a complete and large-scale ancient architecture group, which is listed in the World Cultural Heritage List. For myself, I feel really lucky because I was able to meet many of these masters and learn from them about why they have dedicated their lives to these kind of teachings and practices. <laughs> 